Today, I'm going to share with you my favourite pancake making tips. We're going to start by making thick and fluffy American style pancakes, and we're going to need one egg, 200 grams of self raising flour, 250 millilitres of milk, one teaspoon of baking powder, and a tablespoon of sugar. Mix the flour, sugar, and baking powder together, I've also added a pinch of salt, then break in the egg and give it a good mix. Keep mixing slowly and add the milk. The mixture should be pretty smooth, but don't worry if there's a few lumps. Then cut off a knob of butter and heat it in a pan. Pour any excess butter into the mixture and whisk it in. This will help make the pancakes nice and rich. Pour the mixture into a jug and add some to the pan. When you can start seeing air bubbles in the mixture, turn it over and cook the other side. You can serve it with a knob of butter and some maple syrup. Use a metal cookie cutter to make fun shaped pancakes. And with this gingerbread man cutter, I'm using blueberries for eyes. To make blueberry style pancakes, add some blueberries to the mixture and give it a good stir. Then pour some into the pan and cook as normal. Add some butter or syrup as you like. To toss a pancake, first you need to make sure it's cooked on the underside and slides around smoothly in the pan. Then you need to quickly push the pan away from you and flick it with your wrist so the pancake slides up the back of the pan and over. Make sure there's no oil in the pan because you don't want it to splash out and burn you. If you have any batter left over, you can store it in an empty sauce bottle. Put the lid on and keep it in the fridge. The next morning give it a good shake and it's ready for cooking. I like to serve my pancakes in a stack and covered in maple syrup. To make the thin European style pancakes you need to mix half a pint of milk together with an egg. Then add 125 grams of plain flour and a pinch of salt into a bowl, slowly add the milk and egg, whisk thoroughly and pour the mixture into a jug. Heat some oil in a pan and cook a nice big pancake. Once it's cooked, you could add lemon and sugar or some fruit. I'm going to cover it in a layer of chocolate spread, then slide it between the prongs of a fork and twist the fork to roll up the pancake. Cut it in half and serve it with a scoop of ice cream. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. If you want to see more, click on the links on the right hand side or take a look at my YouTube channel.